Awesome, Isn't let's it? dig in. Checkpoint Charlie is back. Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary and we are back in Germany with an epic food tour. So we're going to go all across the country tasting the most amazing dishes in, uh, in Germany. So glad you guys could come because I feel like German food is super underrated and we're going to try lots of awesome stuff. Of course, there's tons of meat, tons of potatoes, tons of beer, but there's a lot of other things German cuisine has that you might not have known. So let's get right into it. In Nuremberg, it is an awesome city. Definitely a lot smaller than like Munich or Berlin, but it has a super traditional feel and you really can tell like you're in the old school kind of uh, German style. Technically it's Franconia, but it's also part of Bavaria, so there's gonna be tons of traditional German food to try, German architecture. It's just a great place overall. There's so much history here, tons of museums, so really a lot of stuff to do here. We got a Franconian special, Dreimweckle, which is just three bratwurst sausages in a little bun. So it's awesome. Let's dig in. Is it good with mustard? Mm, so good. If you like mustard. And we got a Grossen bratwurst, so just a big bratwurst basically. And these are way better than hot dogs, so except the ones in Iceland, those are really amazing. Oh man, just ate a traditional Bavarian food called Schäufele, which is like the pork shoulder it was amazing oh my god so much portions not gonna lie i'm so stuffed but it was delicious probably one of my favorite foods in germany so definitely try it if you're here So we're in the Hauptbahnhof, the main train station, and there is tons of bakeries selling pretzels. So you know we had to get some breakfast. Best way to start the morning in Germany. And I got the uh, Pfefferbreze, which is like um, salt and pepper pretzel. So this is, I think, a specialty in Nuremberg, so definitely try it if you find it. Munich is such a great and traditional city, and you just can feel like, I don't know, how awesome it is, how much history there is here. Lots of great food. I mean, Bavarian culture and food is just incredible. Like, this is definitely the city you want to come to if you want to check out what real Germany is all about. Okay, so we just made it to Hopper House, which is like the most famous restaurant in Munich. Probably all of Germany, I don't know. But basically, they have really authentic German food and a lot of really good beer. And I'm gonna show you the inside, and it looks so sick. I think if you're here and you want to try some authentic food, this is the place, so let's dig in. Okay, so we're in Hopper House, so you know we had to go order a freaking Stein, man. Ein Mas, which is basically a liter beer. This thing is freaking enormous, man, and it's only like 10 euros, so Hopper House is the place to do it, and the Hadla is amazing. Okay, so I ordered the Schweinaxe, which is a whole pork knuckle, which, oh man, the plates and servings are huge. It comes with a knodel, which is like a potato dumpling, pretty cool. Anyway, the servings are freaking enormous, man. And this is one of the most traditional German meals, so if you're in Munich or in Bavaria, anywhere, you gotta try stuff like this, so let's dig it. Okay, so we're stopping in another authentic German restaurant, and of course, I had to order one of my favorite German foods, which is schnitzel, man. So we got the Wiener schnitzel, which is like uh, a veal cut of meat, basically, and uh, battered bread. It's so awesome, I don't know. You guys gotta try it if you never had it, because it's one of my favorite German foods of all time. Also, you can order food along with your drinks. There's a whole menu of authentic German cuisine to have. Just keep in mind that the plates are enormous, man. The serving size are so huge. Like, I'm always full after eating everything. But they have some great stuff, like Sauerbrauen, Schnitzel, tons of stuff. So definitely check it out and eat here if you want to. Just make sure to bring cash because they don't take art.
Now, this grilled steak, man, that we just got at Oktoberfest Carnival, freaking incredible. I've never tasted anything like this. This is, I wasn't even expecting a steak here like this, but oh my God, if you find this place right here, I don't even know what it's called, but it's awesome. Have the steak. So we're at Neshvanstein and right before you get to the castle there's actually another Hopperhau restaurant and we ordered the frankfurter with uh, potato salad and of course the Cajun pretzel which is basically like a better version of uh, mac and cheese made out of egg noodles and it's awesome. So let's dig right in. small tiny village called Kumpfetze, um, close to Schwabisch Hall, which is pretty much in Baden-Württemberg, another area west of Bavaria. So completely different food, which is crazy. Anyway, they have a specialty dish here called Maltaschen, which is like these noodle filled meat ravioli things in a soup. It's so cool. And you have to tell a story about it. Yeah. Way, oh. Creative way of... Yes, and they have such creative way of reinventing foods, basically. There was a time where they're not able to eat meat, so they ended up stuffing some meat into the noodles and, you know, hiding the fact that they wanted to eat meat. So that's pretty interesting. This is a Swabish dish, so let's try it right now. In Berlin, man, this is such a diverse city. So much color, so much art and history. You can just see all the self-expression written on the walls with the graffiti and murals everywhere. And it's, it's a great time, man. I really love Berlin. I think it's an awesome city, so if you guys come to Germany, make sure you hit it up, man. So we made it back to Berlin, and we got a recommendation for an awesome curry spot called uh, Witty's. So this is right outside the Bahnhof, so we're gonna get some freaking curry words because I've been waiting all week for this. Let's do it. Okay, so we stopped to get dessert, and they have an awesome ice cream that I've never seen anywhere else. It's called Spaghetti Ice. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, it's just vanilla shaped ice cream that looks like spaghetti, but it looks super cool. All right, so we're in Berlin, but I'm craving some Bavarian food because it's so amazing. Honestly, it's pretty hard to find, but we did find an awesome restaurant and it's super Bavarian style, so I'm excited. They had tons of great dishes like schnitzel and lots of beef stuff, so let's dig right in. Okay, so I went with the Hinde Hollerin which is basically like uh, beef rolled up on itself and it comes along with a canoodle, of course, a potato kind of dumpling and some cabbage. And uh, we also got some schnitzel again because schnitzel is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite foods. So yeah, super impressed with their menu. They have so much Bavarian options. So this is a great option. If you're here in Berlin and you want to try some traditional German food. Right, so we're starting the day off with some breakfast and the best way to do it is more currywurst, man. Because it's a specialty in Berlin, so we stopped by this, actually it's super close to our restaurant, Curry at the Wall. Has good ratings, so let's check it out. All right, so we got our currywurst. The original way to get it is with palm, palmas fritas, so french fries, of course, and it's so amazing, so I love currywurst. There's actually even vegan options here as well so that's interesting if you, you want to try that i feel like berlin is such a progressive city when it comes to food like there's so many vegan and vegetarian options so if you have dietary restrictions are you just vegetarian or vegan or whatever it's so easy to eat here like just walk by a vegan sushi place and we saw some vegan currywurst earlier too so pretty insane lots of options so berlin is a super diverse city like so many influences from other uh, international cultures. So that's why one of their famous foods is actually Duna, uh, which is a Turkish thing, I guess. But it became so popular here in Berlin that it's one of the staple foods. So we're gonna go try some at a place called Mustafa's that I got recommended. So I know it's gonna be great. So let's go check it out. 
donut kebab is so amazing. It has like thinly sliced lamb, tons of vegetables. There's some French fries that throw in there, lots of spices. You can add sauces. It's like a freaking explosion of flavor, and it's just so amazing. Super light and healthy, so definitely recommend having some dinner when you're in Berlin. Our last meal in Germany, and we went with the pork loin. I don't know how to say it in German, to be honest, but it is amazing. So we have to go with some more traditional uh, German food, you know, from our last night, so let's dig it. Hey, and for my final meal in Berlin, I had to go with a case of pretzel. So cheese pretzel that I just bought in the airport because, you know, I'm going to miss that awesome German food. So there you have it, the top things to eat in Germany. So hope you guys enjoyed. I know German cuisine is a little bit underrated and not many people are talking too much about it. But to be honest, it's definitely one of my favorite foods. Lots of super savory meals, tons of meat, potatoes, and of course, amazing drinks and beer. So yeah, let me guys uh, let let me know what you guys uh, are most excited about eating, and if you even knew German food was this good. So definitely gonna miss it. But uh, yeah, time to go eat some healthy stuff. So anyway, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.